Hello, this is Carol from Carol Ann Creates. I'm just showing you how to do the join here in my double border, which has all double crochets right up to the corner there. Um, I really love this border. It's from my new pattern, Lavender and Lace, and I think it's worked out really, really nice and matches the other lace sections of the of the pattern, which you will see if you like, if you wish, when it's it's released shortly. Um, the corner, as you can see, the, it's not perfect, this joint, but I think it's pretty good compared to one of the other corners here. So I think it's it's not too bad. It, it's acceptable from, you know, I, I really can't work out a better way to do it, but this is the way I'm going to do it. So I'll just show you how to do that. I've um, prepared one earlier here. What I've done here so far is I've done border stitches all the way around and in every corner um, I've just done chain two. So there's a single crochet, well there's the border stitches here and then um, the next row is all single crochet. And there's a single, so in this first row of single crochet there's a, I just do one in every stitch as you can see, I've done one in every stitch there, but just on the corner, I just do a chain two. So that's all the way around, every corner is the same. And I started off, I started with a standing single crochet and then the chain two and then single crochets all the way along, starting right on the corner there, because that's where our join's going to be. So I'm just getting to that first join, I'll just do my last single crochet here and so this is called an invisible join where you go you leave your loop there pull a loop up and you put your hook through the back of those underneath those two loops and pull it through and pull tight I'm calling this a they call it a slip stitch but I don't really know whether you'd call that a slip stitch or not, but that's what we'll call it today. And I'm about to change colour now. So I've got um, my next colour and I'll pull that through and tighten that slip stitch. So I've got my bits tangled up here. Tighten that slip stitch and I'll tighten it again when I get come back around to before I start again. So it, it's a chain one here and then I'm not going to work into that last stitch there that I've just um, done the, the slip stitch through and so I start in the corner and it's in the first in the back loop of that first chain do a single crochet, then chain two, and then a single crochet in, into the back loop, Oops. the back loop of the other chain. I think I've not quite got that right. Why is it always when you're doing a video that, that it's not right? <laughs> it's normally okay. And then just work my way all the way around Again here, I'll just do a couple of stitches to show you. So that's the, the first corner there and we'll come around and I'll show you the join back here. Uh, I have also, before I got to this point, I've, I've put my um, tighter knots to uh, between my yarn ends here and um, and then cut them to make it a bit neater and easier to do the, the border. Well, I'll see you when I get a background to the join. Just while I'm at this first corner, after I've started here, I just wanted to show you that, uh, again, all you do is a single crochet into the back loop of the first chain, chain two, and a single crochet into the back back loop of the second chain. So that's all it is. Now I'll see you at the end. 
back at the join now. So I'm just going to do my last, well, my second last single crochet. Now, it's very e it's easy that uh, to not tighten your slip stitch. So you can see that that's this, actually the slip stitch in there and you have to don't want to mistake that for a stitch that you need to stitch into. I do need to stitch into this one that I didn't do earlier. So I'm going to pull the slip stitch tighter again and then work into this first stitch which is the standing single crochet from the beginning when I, when I started. There we go. So now I'm going to do another join and I'll be joining, so that's the chain two in there, I'll be joining into this first stitch here before the chain two, or this last stitch I suppose I should say. Pull through, and tighten. Now I'm changing yarn again. In Di Diaga, or the Better Blankets, um, video about the corner joins. Uh, she gives you a nice little neat way to do it so that on the back um, it's nice and it looks nice if you're working in the round on a on, a, on squares or a large blanket. Um, but because this is a double border I really don't have to worry so much about what the back looks like so that's one of the benefits of doing a double border. So I'm just going to pull that yarn through and then Tighten my, where is my slip stitch? Tighten my slip stitch again. And I'm going to do a chain two here. I do a chain two pretty much on every row except these first two because they're just single crochets. But of course I'm now going to be doing double crochet further down. I think it just needs that bit more distance to do a to do the stitch. So the double crochets go into the front loops of those two chain corner chains from two, two rows down. And the reason I, I do two double crochets and then a chain two and then two double crochets in the other chain. Um, the reason I do two instead of one is because I'm going to be skipping these the chains here and that first, that last SC there, and uh, because I'm working two rows down. So if you don't do two, you'll end up with um, a stitch count that's not correct. So that's two into the same chain, chain two. And then there'll be two into the next chain here, front loop. And I'll just do a couple more double crochets here. My yarn's getting a bit tangled. And then I'll show you what it looks like. So there's the corner there. Now these two chains here will get hidden because when I come along here I'll be joining into this first stitch here. Um, I just want to say that normally I would have done the first row across the back first if I was actually working on a, on a proper blanket because it can be very difficult to get into these slip stitches here uh, after you've done the front row. But just for the benefit of this video I'm only doing the front part. So I'll, I'll get back around to the join here and uh, we'll continue. So we're back at the border join again here and, um, and you can see that in there that's 
the slip stitch even though I've pulled it very tight it still shows unfortunately a little bit so I'm just going to uh, do my last stitch and for people who for new people who um, don't know how to sort of who don't recognize their stitches very well you can tell that that's a slip stitch because it doesn't have any of the legs like the other stitches have on them and I also wanted to say that if if some people find it difficult to recognize their slip their chain twos in the corner then you can always put a slip stitch in there to help you when you get back around so that's my last stitch and we'll do the join here again as before and you can see these chain two down here are going to get covered over join and change yarn again so I'll pull this through and I'll tighten that join up again there and when I get around I'll try and remember to tighten it again so because I'm now going to be going straight to the corner again um, I will do a chain two again because it's a bit of a distance to travel if I just did a chain one so I did chain two and then I'm not going to work into these two I'll do those at the end of the next row and the next this row is coming up is a single crochet row so in the corner the back loop again I'm just going to do a single crochet and chain two I don't know if you can hear that noise, but uh, my neighbours are very noisy at the moment out the out the back here. And then I'll just continue around with my stitches and do a little bit of a pattern. And I'll meet you at the end to do the join. Here we are at the, the last join here. I've got um, a couple more stitches to work into. And there's that pesky slip stitch again, which I can pull, pull tight. And I have to also work into these two um, double crochet stitches here to get to the corner. So I'll just do this join as before. And I'll do a chain two again because uh, I'm going to be working double crochets down here and it just needs that bit extra well it's a bit hard to tell at this stage whether that um, looks neat but I think it does compared to the other corners um, and as I'm a big fan of short videos and I've uh, showed you the joins here and they're just exactly the same as you go along um, into the different um, sections um, I think I'll leave it there and um, Thank you for watching and I hope that you uh, have some success with my patterns. Thank you.